Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we gather together to debug this truculent model. Um, uh, so this is a model uh, created by Refod on the basis of an Australia adapted version of an Australian model, which is a particle filtered model. It is a particle filtered model that is misbehaving currently. My understanding is that it exhibits problems very reliably, which is a key point, um, once it started with even a modest number of particles. And Refot has tested it, as I understand it, and I want you to correct me, over um, pretty small delta t's, so pretty pretty fine grain integration, and with larger number of particles. Often with particle filtering models, when it's misbehaving, there's um, a natural tendency to suspect one of a couple of things. One of the first things is this problem whereby um, you can get degeneracy where all particles develop a weight of zero, in which case it causes a divide by zero because if the weight is zero, when you sum up the weights, it'll be zero. And when you go to normalize the, the new weights, if they all sum up to zero, you're dividing by a zero. And, and um, it doesn't like that. And there's some ways to deal with it. Chin Yang, I know, has dealt with this in a, in a different way, um, which is interesting. But as I understand it, um, this problem occurs even with large number of particles. Um, secondly, this is a problem which, whose particular manifestation, which is negative values, got observed, or at least declines in a stock, which should be accumulating, purely accumulating from zero, from non-negative inflows. A stock is going down, which to me suggests negative negative inflow um, and it shouldn't be negative it sh it's a physical quantity that shouldn't be negative uh, Refat, I think you also at some time observed uh, flows or stocks that were negative is that right? Um, the stock is, has an inflow which is accumulating over time there is no outflow so suddenly yes. the stock value goes down yes. yeah. and then okay. yeah. my variable gets negative the variables that depend on the stocks. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to um, we're going to be basically tracking this down. Okay. We want to track down why is it doing these things. Okay. Um, so what I need to do is I need to start. Um, that's not Eclipse. I was working in Eclipse yesterday. It's um, Any Logic. This program called Any Logic. Um, Okay, and what version are you using? Mm. 8.4.0. Uh, okay, fine. Um, 8.4.0? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, and here we go. Uh, uh, bash. Um, uh, mumble. A any logic. Um, uh, oh, any logic. Oh, okay, happy, happy. Um, okay, so I want to see this misbehavior. Problem? Issue one, when you're debugging something, observe the symptoms. Go, go see the symptoms. I want to see the symptoms firsthand to just see what they're, what's happening at a more textured level. Okay? Um, now, someone recently told me how to get rid of this thing. Oh, Jason, was it you? Well, it was me. Yeah. Uh, you'll have to close any logic. Okay, and start it with a different... Um, There's a script, I think it's called start any logic. Yeah, that's what I was actually trying to find. Start any logic? Okay. Yeah. Happy, happy. Start any logic. Okay. And this is not encumbered by that bizarre sort of shadow menu that follows you, follows me around <laughs> through boot camps. Okay. Okay, so I want to go see the symptoms. Okay. 
I'm, yeah, I'm uh, it's sorry? It's gone. Sediaula, as you had said many years ago, about 10 years ago. Um, okay, so let's go, let's go find, find this thing. Um, so, um, here we go, misbehaving, um, okay. There we go. Okay. So, um, here's his model. Let's close all the other models. Um, boom. Boom. Okay, so if I run it, we should observe it. Oh, let's, go, let's go see this. Um, no. <laughs> no. 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 Mumble. Um, okay. I don't know why suddenly the font is small, um, but it is. Okay. Um, okay, so. so Can you view the console? Um, is the console? Yeah, from here. Um, yeah, mumble. Um, uh, time sorry, four sorry. Years, yeah, okay. Time four years? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I see. Okay, sure. I'll run it full tilt. Go. And then it should die. No, it shouldn't die, but it will show a message saying like there is a negative <coughs> value. Okay. Cool. Like this? Yeah. Cool. Look at that. Okay. Okay, it looks exciting too. Um by the exclamation points. So, um, okay, so can you help me interpret said messages? What, do, what does this mean? Minus V E oh, I, I'm exclamation like point? Suicide value is negative at time point four. Oh, that means negative. Yeah. I see. Um, at time four, male suicide. Okay. Now, when you say male suicide, what do you mean? Like, um, like which variable in the model is negative? Um, this is just awesome. The fact that this can be so reproduced so easily is half the battle. So total fatalities m variable. Okay. Total fatalities m variable. Um, uh, let, let me just. Um, total fatalities m variable. Yeah. Okay, where can I find that? Is it visually around here somewhere? Um, no. I need um, to. Yeah, you, if you go on the right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, over here, the variables you see on 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 right on right. Oh, here, like like these total fatalities. No. These guys. Yeah. Uh huh. Ah, okay. So the fox is the seal right there, right? Okay, so this guy is negative, and maybe others are negative. We just, we can't, uh, and can't see. And I got see. this variable by subtracting from okay. accumulation, like from cumulative count to okay. frequency count. Okay. Um, right. Okay. Uh, so you get them by subtracting, what is it? From so how is this computed? From the total fatalities M, so that total fatalities M is accumulating over time. Okay. So I just subtract from today's value, no, from yesterday's value. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so this total fatalities M is is here, and this is a cumulative thing. Yes. Um, and that's based on to the stock total fatalities, male, female, or something? From that dynamic variable on your left. Do you see two stocks are accumulating yeah. somewhere? Yeah. Down? Okay. Yeah, so from that. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, you'll notice that Refod has hoped is laying out here two very important things with debugging. One thing is she's shown how we can reproduce this quickly and reliably. And second of all, she's showing how we can navigate to sort of drill down a little bit very conveniently. 
if those things weren't the case, as is the case for a lot of debugging challenges, you, you might think about simplifying the situation so it is reproduced frequently or reliably, um, and uh, you might think about making it really easy to access the variables of note. In this case, it's quite, uh, quite simple. Okay, so what you're saying is this guy is computed from this guy. And the inference, okay, that's interesting. Why does it shadow. say? It's a shadow from Okay. Back. Okay, so it's a shadow lethal intent fatalities yeah, by yeah, method. Those, those on, your, on the main system dynamics model. Okay. Okay, these things are computed from that. Yeah. And these are more detailed, yeah, because these are by method, yeah. whereas these are just male, female. Yeah. And which of these goes negative? Um, none of these goes negative because I also have a message yeah. which will show like if any of None these of these go negative. What, what goes negative is this. Just, yeah, that, not that dynamic variable, but that particular variable I created. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, but do you see any of these? So if we look at latent lethal, lethal and taint fatalities by method, does this decline over time? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. That's, that be a decline. Okay, and this is significant. Why is that significant that that's declining? Take a look at this stock. Well, this inflow should only be positive, okay? This is, I think, new fatalities, and this is a cumulative. This should really be called cumulative um, to make it very clear. Um, this is accumulating, and if it goes negative, what's that, a sign, what's that a sign of? That the inflow is negative, which this should never be. Maybe that's why it's pink. Is that why it's pink? No. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. The default coloring makes them gray. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, here's one of these disconnected stocks of which I spoke in class recently, which is <laughs> just sits there and kind of, kind of flows. It's like the flux of the universe or something. It flows through that. Okay. Um, Okay, um, great. So, so this guy's negative, or, or let's put it this way. This guy, okay, this is really interesting. This guy is going negative, true or not? Like, or this guy is going down, which suggests that this must be negative somewhere. Somewhere, somehow. Now, look at that. It looks to me like maybe the minimum value of this is could be a bit below zero, but I can't quite tell. Can we copy this and and paste it in? Oh, look at that. Um, okay. Um, okay. Oh, my mumble. Um, okay. Let's let's just. Is there a minus sign in here anywhere? Minus. Minus. Let's, let's. That's, um, that's the variable value. Yeah, yeah, that was the other thing. There's none of these that seem to be minus, though, right? Which I would have expected one of them to be minus because, well, because, I don't mumble. This got, uh, because the stock is going down. This stock is going down, right? I mean, it's, it's declining here between three and four. So how can it not be negative, this not be negative? Okay, let's, let's just do a sanity check here. Um, let's go over to the model. Um, and in the model, this is over here, right? Let's just go check it out. Okay. Um, and... Is this the only flow into it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 mumble. Classic. It's equal to lethal intent fatality by method, okay? And that's this guy, right? Oh, 
That's that's this guy, right? Right? This guy is is that right? Okay. Now this one only depends on two things: this and this, right? It's only a multiplication of those two things. So if it goes negative, one of these two should be going negative. I'm really puzzled by we're not why we're not seeing it go negative. I just want to go check out: is one of these obviously negative? Well, this doesn't seem to be negative. Yeah, in the graph, yeah. it would show a negative something. I was thinking it might be really small negative. Like, Even if it's really small, it shows it, it, shows it extended. Yeah. You folks are awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, okay. And there should have been a message coming here because my event is checking always which of the flows and stops and negative. So the event is said to be a conditional event? Conditional and yeah. going negative, it, yeah. It, yeah. it triggers a condition. Well, but it's integrating this up, so it should only add more to it, I would think. Um, but, um, I mean, I, 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 the, the flow could be... So this is showing this as a negative flow, right? And yet we're not seeing it, but maybe it, maybe we're just not seeing it on the subset that are shown here, because this is not a complete accounting, right? Um, it's only showing us the first, the first six, I guess. Right? Oh no, uh, mumble. That's okay. Wait a minute. Um. Hey, I feel like I'm on a Mac or something. Why can't this thing scroll? Hey, get down here. <laughs> What's going on? No, that's what I've been trying. Um, oh, it's the it's like a Mac. It's, it's like a Mac horror. <laughs> um, how many particles are running in this? Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Okay. Um, Okay. Um, none of these are negative, which is not. Okay, sorry. Was I? Yes, I was displaying this one. So we would have expected it to be negative. Okay. Do you have an event set on this guy? Yeah. You have an event set. If this goes negative, it should trap. Yeah. And it's not. It ain't. I mean this this stuff. Um, yeah, there is there is a lot of, uh, but because only one event got triggered, not the others. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm listening to Alex, and, and often I do do that. Okay, so the fundamental puzzle here, I guess, is the immediate puzzle is why this seems to be going down sometimes, where, whereas we don't see evidence here of the inflow going down, right? Um, it seems to only, interestingly, it seems to only go down at this point too, right? Um, oh. 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 I know why it might be going down. Yeah. Is this subscripted by particle? Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed it is. Why might that be going down? Resampling. Can. 
can re- resampling cause to go down because it swaps it for different particles. Any one particle, it always goes up for their trajectory, but it goes down because it swaps in a different particle's value for that index, right? For the particle index. Yeah, that's the point. So. <laughs> um, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Um, so the resampling occurs at each observation, and because it resamples, it will recompute the weights. But but if it resamples it, it may swap like like this particle may go to that index, and that particle may go to that index, and so the you know, suddenly, say, say particle 1 goes to index 100, 99, right? Or let's say index 97. Um, uh, then, then the particle that was at 97 may have had a higher, posited a higher value of, of, of this stock, but the one that's now substituted in there from, from particle 1 might, might have a lower value of that stock. It just gets substituted in there through resampling. And so this stock, which is part of a particle state, could go down. Because maybe resampling doesn't occur until it's uh, until it uh, the effective sample size is too long. But we don't have to conjecture that. So let's turn off resampling, just see if it still occurs. Good or not? Okay. So we have a hypothesis. You know, I have my hypothesis. I'm going to check that hypothesis. I'm going to investigate the plausibility of that hypothesis. So where is resampling? Resample. Okay, let's go. Um, uh, resample and update weights and particles. That sounds happy. Um, update. Uh, resample. Who who calls this? Um, where, who calls this a process new? This is it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, first of all, I want to make a copy of this model because so debugging. Boom. I don't want to overwrite the old model because because bad things will happen if I forget to get it out. I'm going to say if false and that. Okay, so it'll never happen, right? Okay, so I'm going to probe this hypothesis. If this hypothesis holds water, then it should not now go down. It should not now de- decline, right? Um, uh, huh? Okay, let's, let's, come on. Let's do it full tilt. Hey, come on. Did I do it? Okay. Yeah, well, the best it didn't come, but maybe this is just one symptom of uh, underlying malady. Um, so, okay, still no message. Yeah, it's going four years. Here we go. Let's 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 see. We could continue to run it. But my conjecture is. So, would that be considered a positive? It's not what you expected in terms of male values. Well, uh, okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm coming to the nature of this. I'm, I'm just right now building up evidence for my hypothesis. My hypothesis seems to be solid, okay? Right? Mm. Um, <laughs> so, so then the question is, remember, this was just 
one underlying bit of evidence for the problem. Now we go back to this, and there's this variable that that you were seeking to compute, right? On successive time points to compute the change. But the problem is that to compute that consistently, you can't, if you're comparing the value of, let's say, this variable or some aggregation of it, now versus a year ago. You can't assume that it's the same particle a year ago because this particle may have been somewhere else a year ago. And so you can't just compare, like for a given particle, what was my value a year ago versus what it is now and say, oh, it declined, bad boy. Because, because a year ago, this particle might not have been in this particle position. And that's why it might go down. It might look non-physical, but my guess is that as long as the particles stay in the same position, it's going to be consistent. It can only rise. But if, if you start swapping particles in resampling, you can't say, what was my value a year ago by looking, by assuming that I'm in the same position. Okay, now, so there's some logic that has to be fixed here, but I don't want this to detract. And by the way, this is an important lesson for anyone who's doing derived computations involving these values. Um, you can't say, store something up from a year ago and compare it to now, assuming that the particle index is the same, unless you have some guarantee that it is. So one issue is the swapping of particles. But, but I think the problems with the, that afflict this model go deeper than this. I think this was just a sign of them, right? Tell me, tell me about the model's problem. So this was a sign of some problem, you thought. And I'd say that this is a, this actually is not a problem. It's just, it looks like a problem because you're not accounting for the swapping of particles, the, the sort of uh, resampling from particles. But what are the deeper problems of this model? Like, what are the other issues with the model? This model is being a naughty model. It's not being a good model. Why is that? What's happening? What's happening to this model? It's being bad in some way, I think. Right? That, that was my understanding. What, what's wrong with it? Is something going negative? Or not? Not right now. Because this, this looks to me okay, except the logic for that has to be changed because that's not legitimate logic um, given particle swapping. But what, what's the problem with the model? Is there another problem? So let me ask this, Rifa, these, these variables that are computed, are those just used for debugging to figure out what's, if no. it's okay? No. So where are those used? Um, so initially in the Australian model, when they were plotting the counts of suicide, they used just total fatalities, MF and total fatality, because these are aggregating over sex or method. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, then I realized that when I'm plotting for particle filtering, I have counts of suicide for each year. So I need something which will strip out the frequency from the cumulative frequency. In the basic statistics one, when we were given the cumulative frequency, we just needed the frequency of things, right? 
So that's when I created those sets of variables on the right. Okay, so, so I'm only getting part of what you're saying. Um, uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this problem which we've observed, really that's an indication, the, like one way to handle that is, this value from a year ago should be part of particle state. And therefore, when resampling occurs, it should be swapped with the other information. Like if particle one goes to particle 99, particle 99 slot inherits everything from particle one. It should inherit the memory from a year ago from particle one. That should be part of its state of the particle. It's like a, conceptually, it's part of its state. It's like a stop that particle. And, and so when resampling occurs and you do the shuffling of all the values of the stocks and other aspects of state, this should be swapped as well. So that when particle one goes to particle 99 slot, what was in particle one, slot one, now is in slot 99, in so doing it brings over all the information, including the information of what it was a year ago. That's how it should, should work. But Okay, so, so help me understand though. This, and I'm just trying to get at this because I think there's deeper problems in this model somewhere. So what we've just seen is that the decline, the decline is not a big issue. The decline, decline is due to the confusion of looking at the value for this particle slot a year ago instead of the value for this particular particle's information really from a year ago, which may be at a different slot. So that's actually not, I think, a big issue here. What else is this model exhibiting that's problematic? Um, what I understand that the other latent stocks, those don't make sense some, sometimes. Because, um, for example, X ideators of male and female, yeah. those sharply goes up and up. That means there has been a lot of accumulation going on on those stocks, uh -huh. which shouldn't be the case. Okay, okay. Uh, D does the model, let me ask this. At one point, the model crashed. Yeah. It, it like, stopped running. Yeah. You'd run it, and it would stop running. Does that still go on? No. Okay, so that, that no longer happens. That's been apparently fixed. Happy day. Okay, so that's good. Um, but what you're saying is there's something with X ideators? Yeah, X ideators, and um, because of that, X ideators and the considering suicide, that means the first two stocks, which has a huge accumulation as an initial value. Can, can you show it to me? Like yeah, the, the Jega? Yeah, yeah this the, one? those yellow. Okay. This one and the X ideators. So. So <laughs> it, it would take a little bit of running to see it. Yeah. So should I run it? Yeah. Should should not. Should. Like this will jump up somehow. No, no that's fine. So it's the X ideators. Yeah. X ideators and considering suicide. So. This this one. Yeah. Wow, that's really a big stock. These two. Sometimes they jump up. Is that right? Is that right? Sometimes, like over the time, they jump up. And then when the prediction will start, like testing the data, it suddenly goes down like sharply after um, 28 or 30 years. Okay. So, so if I run this, I might see it? Yeah. I think you stop the resampling, so... Stop. Okay, okay, okay. With with this one, you can also see that. Yeah, with the resampling off, you can also see that. Now, by the way, uh, does anyone know? Do these stocks get updated over time? Yeah, it looks like they do. In other words, they'll get updated as this has become like Macized. It's like you have to. Gosh, it's weird. It's like I have to do it in the opposite way I used to. Okay. So somehow this leaps up sometimes? Yeah. 
So X ideators is like a million people. It's pretty big. Okay. By the way, these are these are plots of particles, right? These are not weighted samples. So you have to be cautious. This is not a representation of the distribution. It's just it's just a convenience we can quickly look to see what different particles are doing. Um, but you shouldn't take this as the distribution of things. The distribution may be you know, hugely weighted towards just this little region or something like that. And, and so don't, don't take this as a valid sample. Okay, so, so when do these uh, leaps occur, you know? Um, 30, 29, 28, 29. Year? Yeah. But you still have the resampling going on. No. You turned it off. But I tried with nine particles. Nine. And then there's a leap. There is always a leap. Doesn't matter how many particles I have. Is it? You're twenty nine? Twenty nine thirty? Twenty nine. It's really interesting. Is there anything odd about the data around those years? Do you have data for those years? Yeah. And then my prediction starts after 30 years. So. 30 years in? Yeah. What, and you have data all along that time? Uh, I have until 35. Mm. This is Canadian? Okay, and there's nothing really weird about the data before that time. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of going up the X ideators and um, yeah, yeah. Some of even them are for X ideators, it, sh it, it it always rising when the resampling is going on. So, and I don't think this this is something valid numbers because in real life it shouldn't be the case. That X ideators just go up. Yeah. It might go up a little bit over the time, but not like. Well, that. okay. Here's. Here's the thing. I mean. What does X ideator start as? Really small. It looks like right. Down here. Yeah. So basically, it's out of balance initially, and that's why it's going up. I think it's probably an indication that, for the model to be consistent. There needs to be more people who start an X ideation state because what's right now going on is that the flows in so exceed the flows out that the stock is going up. If that stock started at much higher initial values, because it's associated with this first order delay here, the outflow would also be larger and it might not rise then. It would it would the inflow would equal the outflow roughly, and it would be in stasis. This is just a sign that it's out of balance, I think, initially. That's, that's why it keeps on going up. The way we calculated the initial value is the lifetime suicidal ideators minus 12 month suicidal ideators percentage times the total population. Hmm. Mm. Because the idea is those at 12 months would, might still be in those current ideation stock? Yeah. I see. Uh -huh. But what this is saying is that the model right now is kind of out of balance. It's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's positing something for ongoing ideation that's quite different. Okay, do you see something? If you see something, say something. Oh, yo, oh, yo. Oh, wow, that's really. If I can fix this, or if this thing is fixed, then the model is fixed. So, are you sure it's 30? Are you sure it's at 30 years? Yeah, like up, up, up until 30 years, I am. 
training the data, but after that it will be paid. Sure it's not no. Yeah, exactly. Off by but one error. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Zero to one would be, well, okay, zero to one would be one year, though. Right? Zero to two would be two years, and zero to 30 will be 30 years. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that uh, means this that is, the model didn't learn anything from the data? Well, okay. So, so what I'm saying is I don't, I, I would watch out for this. It seems almost too much of a coincidence to think it's occurring at 30, but uh, look at that. Now, that is really interesting. Okay, this is, this is cool. Yeah, let's, let's see what happens when it hits. Okay. It can start to rise again after a while. Okay, have you noticed where, when you say the data goes through 30 years or something, um, I see. Okay, so so we need to we need to check out what's going on. That's really weird. So you don't know what causes this. Cool. Okay, that's that's really interesting. That is really interesting. And is it it's both ex ideators and uh, considering suicide, right? Yeah, it's for all the latent states and also the it's for every stock. Okay. So so let's let's let's. Uh, it's for all stocks. Okay, is particle filtering occurring? Yes. But no resampling is occurring. Okay, so, so the, and the weights won't affect things. Okay, so let's, um, sorry, here. Um, let's, let's go, okay, so that was a dramatic thing. I love things like that because they're so dramatic that it will make it quite easy to see if they're occurring and reproduce them um, will be easier. Okay, so it, basically this is happening to these two things, right? Okay. Okay, so my question is then, why, right? Stocks determine, are dependent on their flows, right? Um, so if we were to turn off flows out of this, if we were to make this a closed system, this, this, and it doesn't flow out, it doesn't flow in here, it doesn't flow in, doesn't flow in here, and we were to turn this flow off, all we have is things coming in here, right? Now maybe that's a step too far, but let's, um, I'm tempted to, to do that. Um, did you? And what do you see? Okay, so that's why it's good to have a notebook or some other thing. Okay, so let's let's just go. Um, so remember, save early, save often, ladies and gentlemen, because you want to be able to go back to it and say, did that thing occur in the previous thing before I disabled that? And it's just easier to do this. Okay, so let's just go set all of these to zero. The way I like to do it is by multiplying at time zero. Okay, fine. All right, just multiplying by zero. Then you don't have to destroy the equation. Boom. There we go. Boom. Okay, I'm going to just... I just want to simplify the situation and see which side of the equation is. This is the idea that Chris Duchin and others call wolf fencing. Do you know that idea? Yeah. So, look. Okay, you want to know where the wolf is in... Not the one that's at the door, by the way, um, and not the one whose tail you're seeing. Um, but it, which side of Alaska it's in? So you draw a fence in the middle of Alaska, then you see which side it's on, then you do half of, half of the remaining thing, etc. Okay, so let's just let's just do this. The the reason this is it, it's a bit quicker than ripping it out. The problem with ripping things out of these models, there's no I rip things out all the time to simplify it, but the problem is that often it gets tricky because there's all these other things that depend on it and you got to disable them and it turns into a big, a big sort of pain. 
um, to do it quickly. Uh, eventually, we'll probably start ripping, probably start ripping it out, okay? Um, but for now, I just want to set it to, to zero there. Um, by the way, I did leave this in, and this is draining these stocks over time. That's probably why they're declining, okay? Okay, so, okay, let me ask this. So, so we just, look, so we changed the dynamics of the model and now it's displeasurable, it's, it's displeasure. It, it's unhappy probably because it's having a harder, harder time matching the data and then it probably gets all particle weights to zero. So unfortunately, our attempts to investigate that way have reached a sort of hurdle. Um, okay, I want to ask, because that doesn't seem as trivial to do and run, I want to ask Refi, if I turn off particle filtering, does that same thing still occur? If I run the, the model without particle filtering enabled, will it still go boom at age, at around your 29 point something? You think it does. Now that would be quite a step forward if we knew that. Can you run? Can, cannot. Can we try a small number of particles so that doesn't? Can? Yeah, that's a good idea. Remember, creating things efficiently um, so you can experiment easily is a, uh, is a very, va very valuable thing. Why is this? Where, where, where's my other? I saved it as debugging two. Because you saved in the models. Oh, I saved in models? Yeah. Okay, happy, happy. Okay, let's go back to that. Here's the debugging one. And I'm going to disable particle filter, okay? Because I want to see, okay, so this is still wall fencing at a broad area. I'm trying to see, is it a particle filtering thing or is it not a particle filtering thing here? I've got a hypothesis, maybe it's not a particle filter thing. That would be radical, because that would simplify my life greatly if I don't have to worry about particle filtering. So I'm gonna go turn off particle filtering. Now, in my models, we used to have... I have an We used to have, like, is particle filtering... It should be on down. Is particle filtering enabled? Is... Is where? It was right oh, there yeah. is perform particle filter. Mm. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, ready? You folks ready? Okay, um, here we go. Okay, let's just go see. Now, this is by the way just at the edge of something I'm comfortable with because this takes a while for it to run. It will actually take a little bit less time with particle without particle filter, but it's not going to be that much less. It's still kind of slow. And this gives us a chance to think. So I went back to the earlier version of the model there. That's why I reloaded it. So this is with these flows flowing. And I am rerunning this now without particle filtering enabled to see maybe it doesn't even require particle filtering, in which case I don't have to worry about a whole set of issues. It rules out a bunch of hypotheses, a whole bunch of hypotheses involving particle favoring and weights or maybe something wrong with the, with the particle filtering mechanisms and stuff like that. So let's just, let it let it run. Um, if this doesn't depend on particle filtering, then my investigations will be different. Um, the problem is this is a this is an issue which takes me a few minutes to reproduce. I I'm barely comfortable with that because I want to have more nimble experimentation than that. Um, yeah, it still 
without particle filter. Excellent. It makes ideas, not in other stuff. Is it? Okay, let's get this open. Refi. Winter is coming. <laughs> That's true. She said when I said it to her last year, she thought I was referring to the show. I, I wasn't. I want. I wasn't. <laughs> So Patty, Patty Mabry, I just picked him up from the airport, she and two colleagues. And Patty is just in Washington, D.C. She flew here on the way. She landed in Minneapolis and got on this plane. It was 90 degrees in, in, in Washington, D.C. Fahrenheit? No, Fahrenheit, sorry. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, her blood would be boiling um, or near, near boiling. Um, yeah. Um, so you still have ninety nine particles? Ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. So so let's surmise that it does occur without particle filtering. Let's 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 just think. What would we do if this occurs without particle filtering? How long might we investigate it? Well, one thing is, without particle filtering, we don't have to worry about the problem of all the particles having weight zero, because there's no worry about that. It's not doing the renormalization. So that will give us license to cut out parts and to disable those flows with abandon. We could do that very easily without worrying that it's going to blow up on us. Remember just before I did that? and it blew up because it, it had an exception, which I said, I think it's because all the particles have, have um, weight zero. So and again, if I can show it's doable without particle filter, as I said, it simplifies my life. One of the ways is I can disable these flows easily. And, uh, and I can do so at my leisure. And I will, I will exercise that prerogative. Um, but what else? could it be? Okay. So if this occurs without particle filtering, I guess my question is, the next time we see it, I'd like to know what else does it affect. So look, the nature of these systems is such, ladies and gentlemen, that they're coupled systems. Okay. So one of the things that makes debugging difficult is if we want to figure out why X ideators is problematic, um, maybe we say, well, you know, I wonder what's driving it to be problematic. Maybe considering suicide is problematic. We said it is. But we don't know which of them went bad first, right? Because X ideators affects considering suicide through this flow, and considering suicide affects X ideators. So trying to figure out, like, what went wrong first in these models can be difficult because they're coupled. They're promiscuous. This thing of A affects B and B affects A. But one thing we can do to give us clues is ask in the external system what's going on. So for example, in this flow in um, initial ideator PA or something, what is that? Um, you know, is, is that going wacko? Because if so, it's not affected directly by these considering suicide. Considering suicide is, is strictly downstream of it. And so, um, you know, if we have evidence that it's going negative, um, this one here, initial ideation PA, um, then, or it, it, that it's going wild, then that gives us a clue that maybe these are going wild because of that, okay? Um, and, and we can move in that direction. Um, you know, we, we might be able to figure out some external influence on this. Another tempting thing to do is to, to, to turn off flows in this area, which if it's not particle filtering related, 
we can do easily. But I would also start, you know, on these uh, these external things. Uh, where else are there external things? Um, well, there might be in terms of conceivably some of the interventions. Oh, do any interventions apply as well? No, those are now multiplied okay. by one. Okay, so here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be the witching hour. Sorry? <laughs> there we go. A thing of beauty, if not a joy forever. Ladies and gentlemen, it occurs without particle filtering. Our life is simplified. Now, let's check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Check out this flow. Is there any evidence of profound dysfunction with this flow? The answer seems to be a resounding no. Beauty, it's not. But it doesn't seem dysfunctional. Yes? It's a good question. I think she said 35 years of data. Yeah. One for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. From a discrete perspective, like time so zero, time one, time 29, uh, 29 then that's 30. And the, the difference between zero and 29 is 29 years, but it's, tw it's, it's uh, points, is 30 points when you have it through, you know, at 30. Yeah. Um, but then you have five more years beyond that. Okay, so let's, let's poke around some more. This one is not bad. Let, let's just check out what's going on. I, I mean, some of these will be pretty obvious. Like this thing is going to collapse as well, I'd expect, because it follows that if this collapses, that does. Now this one, okay, this one is kind of interesting. It's, it's somewhat decoupled. Let's, let's check it out. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, look at that. Okay. Now, he, it, admittedly, this one is the survivor's flow in, which is affected, which is probably coming in turn from somewhere up here. Okay, so, so, so let's, let's put on our thinking caps. So it doesn't seem to be coming. It's something within this, within this system that seems to be out of whack, not communicated with this, maybe communicated somewhere in here. Okay, so here's my question. If we went back and, and, you know, were to disable these flows again, these four flows, so that these two were isolated um, from, from that, would it still occur? That's my question. So can I do that? Can, cannot. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, um, let's just go check it out, right? Here we go, disable all these. Okay, and now let's save it to debugging three because I don't want to overwrite it. Debugging three, boom. In the ideal world, I'd, I'd write this down, but fortunately I have a my memory bank is substantively extended by many youthful <laughs> brain cells in the room. Um, um, okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Let, let's, let's, let's let her rip. Here we go. Okay, but let's use this time to reflect. Okay, I expect this to profoundly affect the dynamics here. Um, it's, it's probably... You know, going to be very different dynamics. Yes, Wade. So, we still see many lines on those blocks. Are we, like, we've disabled the part of the filter, but we're still writing the main I, particles? It's a good question. There's many particles, yes. And I suspect what's going on is that the initial conditions differ across particles. Do, for different particles, it starts. Remember you have this homogeneous... I disabled la. <laughs> the plot 
thickens, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, I, I should have, of course. If I had presence of mind, I would have... I, I should have seen the console and tracked down where exactly the error occurred and confirmed it's in the particle the filter. Yeah, you see, it's far from particle filtering is on. Um, so, sorry, uh, where is it? It's far from particle filtering. Is on? Yeah. Well, but I disabled it. Oh, of course. Of course, I load the earlier version of the model. Okay. Okay. But, well, okay. Anyway. Can, you, can you do it with small number of particles? Can, can, yeah. can. And, and that's a good idea. That's another prerogative. So, 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 okay, so what's going on? Is perform particle filter? Okay, let's save it again. Okay, and then let's set it to be fewer particles. Yeah, in dimension. Yeah, so here we go. Particle. Let's set it to be nine. Yeah. Because we we shouldn't have to worry about the quantity now because it doesn't require a requisite variety. Okay. Okay. Why, why isn't it running? I thought it ran. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Let's. let's Let's let her run. Pair debugging is one of the best things. I'll tell you that. Um, I think it's also fun. L look how fast this goes. It goes rip snorting fast. <laughs> okay. Sorry? Yeah. Flows. It's disabled. Okay. Um, yes. Can't, can't. That helps my eyes too. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're 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 in great shape. This is this is awesome. The fox hole is nearby because I smell even yet its stench. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, okay, this is awesome. Okay, well, now we're, on, we're in pretty good shape. First of all, let's, let's bring down the number of particles even further. I mean, why do it with, with this, right? Do it with, I'm tempted to say zero. I mean, well, I mean, in other words, zero to zero. So there's only one. What do you think? Good or not? Let's let's just let's just run this to make sure it, it it's not an un, unhappy camper, and then let's um, um, and then we'll uh, okay. So it's it's happy. So um, this is like this singleton particle. Let's 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 disable this flow. Can cannot. Okay, let's just make sure there's nothing funky with this flow. There's either, I'll tell you, at this point in debugging, there's one of two things I focus on. I focus on either disabling things that are very unlikely to be the problem, to try to small, or I like go for the, for the heart of it. And I say, I'm going to, I bet it's this flow, and I'm going to disable it and see if the problem disappears. I'm, I'm being a bit more cautious here and just disabling um, one by one these flows because I know I don't have many uh, to do and it's now really quick to reproduce. Notice how we, by disabling the particle filtering, now we can reproduce it much more quickly, particularly because of the smaller number of particles and we don't have to worry about, um, uh, about uh, the particle, particle count at all. Okay, so here, boom. Hey, where's my... Okay. Okay, here. Okay, now I have to, I have to, hey, come on, get up here. Get up here. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it still happened. See that? Let's, let's just make, make sure I'm not fooling myself. There we go. See that? It still collapses. Okay, this, this is, 
Oh, this is great, isn't it? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Um, um, okay, so what should we do? We could disable this flow in. We could disable the flows from here to here or here to here. And then we know which one, ah, if we decouple these two, well, okay, this is going to be signally uninteresting because all of its thing, it, sources will be cut off. So that's not going to be that interesting. But where could this be coming from? If this is disabled, this, 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 where else could it be coming from? It's kind of now, you're kind of in this coupling of this system here which is, where is it coming from? The only thing disturbing it from the outside is this, right? These two are like, it's like a pre-order where you, pat, you, you crush it into a single object, these things that are, that are tightly coupled. Um, can. So that three green dynamic variables, shadow, the, the what? Three green dynamic variables. Yes, so these then, these guys? Uh, no, down below. Oh, these? Yeah. So do you say adjusted subsequent ideation person per month? Yeah. That's coming from an intervention. And okay. I have used, like I turned off the intervention, but still that goes down. But what I did now, I just made it value of one. Okay. And then I'm seeing like things are going fine. Okay, so so I love what you're saying. Can I turn this guy off? Okay. Let me, let me just turn this guy off. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm listening to what you're saying, and I think we'll get to that. If I turn these off, it's just these things together as a little system here, self-contained, closed system. So I want to see if this problem still occurs. Now, some people start in each of these states. So it's not like they're entirely bereft of people. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's just see. I know it's going to be a little bit of a contrived um, thing, but okay. And then let's try to zoom in. There we go. Okay. Okay. What do you think? Will it still happen? Okay, so I'm stripping out worries in my life. Okay, I don't have to worry about everything upstream of that. This is awesome, isn't it? Okay, I'm tempted to... Yeah, the fox is... Sorry? It's not going to get away, that, that, that's for sure. Okay. Um, okay. Um, okay, I'm going to disable this flow. Okay. And I know these things are going to come out. I just want to track it down to, to that. And then I'm going to re-enable it, and then I'm going to disable this one. And my hope is that it will still be obvious enough. The problem is there'll be so few people in there at that point, I think. So let's just, okay, here we go. Jiga. Oh, yeah, I see it went to, went to zero, basically. Oh, but look, when did that occur? It occurred about time 30. Let's, and this occurred about time 30. So it's like a last gasp. There weren't many people remaining, but those that remained, something, something radical happened to them. Hey, come on. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. You can't scroll inside a graph, I guess. Um, here, let's let's. This doesn't have to be really, really big vertically. Let's let's just go check it out. So so yeah, it occurs about time twenty nine. 
same, 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 same. Okay, so it's almost certainly this, because this is the only flow that remains. Okay, if, if we posit that, let's just go make sure it recurs. Let's take this away. Let's make sure it recurs again, okay? You ready? You ready? Let's just make sure it recurs, and then I'm going to disable this and see if it occurs. Okay, so this is kind of a sanity check stage. Here we go. You ready? Okay, so it still occurs, right? Both these are enabled, everything else should be disabled, right? Let's just double check our understanding. This is disabled, see the 0, 0.0? This is disabled, oh, sorry, hey, come on. It's 0, 0.0, this is disabled, 0, 0.0, this is disabled, 0, 0.0. So the only, and this is disabled. 0, 0.0 and this is disabled 0, 0.0 so the only two things that are enabled are these two now let's turn off this guy when we only when we turn this one off only this one retained we still saw a whisper of it the fox we still heard its its muffling clawing sound Can we the line going this this one here Okay, so I just disabled this. I did not disable that. You ready? Okay, here we go. It's, it's this guy here that's causing the big problem. Now let's go investigate why, right? Now we can, now that we know it's related to this flow, now let's work backwards to things that drive this flow and let's figure out which of those it is. Now you may ask me, couldn't it be two things at the same time? Yes, but by Occam's razor, we, we say, look, um, it's more likely to be just one thing. We don't yet have any evidence that it's two things. And it's occasionally you see things that are two things, but commonly it's just one thing that's screwed up. So let's go. So I just re-enabled that. Everything else is, oh, this is, okay. So I'm going to, okay, I'm, I'm tempted to leave this enabled just to make it a more dramatic effect. Because when we only had this guy and this guy was disabled, it was a kind of muffled whisper. All I heard was the rustling of the, of the fox's paws and its sniffle as it, as it dug around. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. I just want to make sure it's still occurring here. Make sure that I'm cooking with gas. There we are, okay? The fox is alive and well. Okay, you ready? Okay, so now we know this is alive. Okay, let's, let's save this to debugging four because we have a very nice, small, simple model here. A lot of things simplified. We've boxed in the fox to a small area we have what might be called the fox box, okay? Um, okay, so here we go. So I would conjecture that if it's this flow, we need to take a look at this flow. What does this flow depend on? Well, it depends on x ideators. And then this adjusted 
And then the psych treatment is that an inter uh, basically two interventions, right? So the psych treatment, but wait a minute, there's so the employment well, and then the adjust, yeah. Yeah, so psych treatment and employment ideation, those were are disabled. Yeah. Okay. So so psych treatment. Um, it's one because it's disabled. Okay. So so if that's the case we should be able to actually delete these, right? So one hack you can do that I'll sometimes do is do this. One, 1.0 1 plus 0, 0.0 times this or something like that. Then I can disable just these guys, their influence. Because after all, if I disable them, um, well, okay, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's a, a kind of um, uh, not a very good idea. I'd have to delete both of these, but it's fine. It, it, it serves its purpose. Fine. Um, it won't, you can't just do one thing there. Okay. Happy, happy. Um, so should we run it? This should yield no change, right? No, no material change. I mean, in other words, it should still exhibit the problem. True or not? The fox should still make it sound evident, right? Its stench will be as strong as ever, right? Behold, ladies and gentlemen, the stench of the fox. Ah, it jumped from one. Yeah, from one to another. Is it? Yeah. Aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. okay. Great. Acute observations like that are very helpful. You'll want to work closely to fix that. Remember that variable which had the particle? Work others. That is a fox, but I'd say more than that. It's a special type of fox. It's a huli jing. It's kind of a. <laughs> it's kind of a, a kind of a supernatural fox. Uh, fox. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe that's. A, is there a, a rumor of a nine-tailed fox? A legend of a nine-tailed fox? I don't know if it's. I don't know. Is that right? Nine tail? Yeah. Is that right? How good do you know? The nine tail fox. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Um, it's called, a, in Chinese, it's called a fox lady. Um, okay, so so this thing, can we go find it? Let's yeah, go find it. Under relapse. Anyway. Um, under relapse? Yeah, it could be really a relapse, or even you can search. Yeah, under. I think you can right click on a shadow and find it. Can you? Maybe not on Linux? Control click? Control click? That's a good. Oh, <laughs> not quite what I was looking for. Um, oh, this guy? No, no, the name is Bob. In here? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you can encode. Yeah, for when it has an underline. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, this one? Yeah. Okay, so, um, okay, so this is really interesting. Um, okay, let me, let me look at my, my screen here. Um, so, this is an intervention? 
service impacted SI percent per year. Okay. But I didn't turn on the intervention. So. Okay. So so let's let's check out the logic. You think it should be constant? Yeah. Okay. One minus reduction percent. Okay. So so let's let's run this. Can we get to this easily when we run it? Okay. Okay, because maybe we could see which one of these change. Can cannot. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So where where do I go for this one? Yeah. Okay. What is it? Relapse. Yeah. Ah. Okay. 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 So let's let's run this. Okay, so just like uh, Tianyuan did, we should be able to observe. This is the one that's used elsewhere, and it went up, right? And the question is, which of these also goes up? So this is 119, this is 119, this is a tiny flow. Um, it's probably this divided by that. Um, and... Uh, and then something changes, right? Okay, so let's let's go use this, ladies and gentlemen. I like doing. I like using things like like this, but here, okay. So run for one year, okay? Okay. Now it went twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching the time of the fox. So I'm going to I'm going to go down to point one. Okay, here we go. Twenty. Oh, okay. Well, we're still a couple of years out. Twenty-seven. Here we go. Come on. Oh, did it? Oh, oh I missed it. It, it occurs even at 28. Yeah, this this thing increased, and therefore this flow inflow increased, and therefore this went up, and that ended up raising this. This this guy service impacted. Huh. Oh, it just hasn't updated it yet, I think. Here, here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, come on. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, okay, so, so let's go check out this guy. Recession years ideation percent. Okay, here he is. Here's a function. If get year is greater than... Okay. Reduced resources, otherwise subsequent ideation. Um, okay, and the reduced resources, I see. Here it is. Um, so basically you've got either of these two. This is its, yeah. Yeah, so this would be as if it were mumble um see this guy is much higher than this guy by a factor of like a hundred a hundred fifty higher um than that okay that will be 0.18 0.18 yeah okay hmm? <laughs> well, it's a, probably a silly mix-up between percent and fraction. And certain creators and models label things as percent that are really fraction or label things as fraction that are percent. 
and it's horrible. It happens a lot when one person one person. Yeah, yeah. And my own view is operate in terms of fractions, but that's a glib statement because sometimes stakeholders relate to percentages, in which case I would say standardize are one on the other because otherwise this is not the first time I have seen a fox of this color. Okay, so let's, uh, if, if we were to change that to 0 0.18 and you were to run it, what you will see is the fox may still enter the hen coop, but it, 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 its damage is less. Okay, so here we go. So Wade, yes. you experience, have experienced some familiarity with the animals in the northern forest. Are there foxes in the north? Yes. In number? Yeah. Yes. Uh, my uh, good friend of mine has a Dane nearest cow. Really? At some point, he would jerk up some Really? Okay. Is it kind of a is it a forested area or is it more meadows? No, it's a it's a forest. Really? So, so foxes live in forests too. Yeah. Wow, that's really interesting. I'm I'm I've always thought of them as kind of a open plain sort of creature, but but that's really interesting. Habitats and ecozones. Wow, very interesting. I appreciate knowing about that. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, there is a exogenous factor which is driving that, having to do with the recession. But fundamentally, it was a quantity mismatch, right? In other words, it should have been 0.18 instead of 18. And I get that because it was labeled percent but it was really meant to be a fraction. And that can wreak damage. Percent is out of 100. Fraction is out of one. So 0.5 is a fraction equivalent to 50%. Because a percent is always with a, uh, with a denominator of 100. So, so the equivalent percent to 0.5 is 50. The equivalent percent to 0.75 is 75. The equivalent percent to, to the fraction 1 is 100. Sorry? Well, if it's zero, you're not sure if it's fraction or percent either. You can't tell from the numeric value sometimes. But you have to be very clear how you handle it, whether it's fraction or percentage. And typically what happens in these models is if it's a percentage, you'll divide by 100. And in fact, the original model had lots of that. Thank you, Wade. Um, the original model had lots of that. It was treating it and knew it was a percent. But this was the case that labeled it as a percent, but in fact it was being treated as if it's a fraction. And that is the fault of the original model creators. The name left open that mistake. They, ladies and gentlemen, they invited the fox into their very home. Yeah, they were labeled percent. It was labeled per See, it, was, it said service impacted SI percent per year. That's just inviting mistake. You're, you're, you have the door wide open to the fox. It's like you, you the door to your fridge is open, and it, it has an express lane to your fridge. I Yes. Good. <laughs>
Okay. What's that? We have still a recording going on. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we turned off the particle filtering and we also disabled the resampling. Yeah. Do you want to re-enable them? Is yeah. that what you're hoping? Yeah. Can, can. Here. This one here. Um Is it there's this one? This version eleven. True or not? Okay, so how do I get back to that? It's relapse. Yeah. Uh, from the view area. Uh, mumble. Oh, view up here somewhere? Uh, right beside the Yeah, right beside the yeah. Right there. I'm clicking, I can't. I can't click. click. There. Relapse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll tell you. There's certain parts of any logic I haven't explored. I don't think I've ever used a view. <laughs> really? I should, yeah. So I know, they're very useful. I just, I've never taken the time to learn them. Maybe someone can teach them to me. Yeah. Basically, you create it and you name it, and it takes you there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, it's this guy here. It should be point one aim. One point. Sorry, this. Right? Okay, so so that was one of the issues. Right? Uh, and the other was the Huli Jim. It was the problem with the with the with the particles. Or resampling. Um and I disabled resampling. And Right now, the model logic is faulty because it's assuming that a year ago, the status is given for this particle a year ago, which is not the case if resampling went on. You said the solution to that was putting that information in the particle. You have to put it in the particle. It's part of particle state. You copy that information as part of particle state, what I was a year ago or what I was at this time. And so it just it tracks that. It tracks it, Instead of, yeah. Yeah. Instead of just... Assuming that it's, yeah, it's like I would bet you when it does resampling, it doesn't copy that information to the new particle. Is the way to put it. I bet right now. It might still look odd on the graph, on the stock because if the index changes, correct. the value is just going to jump around. But it, you'll never get the. You'll never get the variable. The negative. That's right. That's right. I mean, right now, again, I mean, the best way to put it. So this is a very important point. I want I want the refat to listen to this, and whoever works with her on this, when you perform the resampling, when you do this resample indices or mumble, it's um, it's where you actually perform the the resample. You know the, the the sort of shuffling of things. Where is that? I can't I can't remember. Uh, Sorry. Resampling this from index? No, it's. Update. Um, uh, up, up, up. Yeah. No. Just above the one you highlighted. This one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is where it should be copied. Basically, this, this is the whole thing. It actually is subscripted by weight, but you need to copy that value as of a year ago here. Um, in this first loop through, you're copying it into these temporary variables. And then you need to put it into the destination here. You see what I mean? So, so what I'm saying is right now, other aspects of particle state are copied into these temporary variables and then they're put into their proper destinations. And you've got to do it with that one that remembers it from a year ago. Yeah, that's what you need to do. It's, it's not a hard fix. But let's, can we, do you want to run this thing now? Want or not? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so let's turn particle filtering back on, right? Or it's probably on in this version of the model. I mean, almost certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Is perform particle filter on. And now I'm going to, I know, but it may cause other errors. 
if it, it you think so? Yeah, the estimates won't be perfect, but it will be fine. Okay. Should we turn off resampling until that's fixed? Yeah, let's turn off free sample. What do you think? Good or not? Okay. Um, okay. Um, uh, what is it? Receive. Probably that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm doing. Good. This guy here. And I put this thing as false in that, right? Uh, but this gives me great trepidation. I should really call this debugging final test with fixes or something like that. Um, we really got to fix, though, that issue of copying that thing. Okay, you ready? Okay. Um, and then you want to, you want me to reduce the number of particles. I'm always leery about, whoa, well, what am I doing? I'm always leery about doing this. Um, but let's, let's, go, let's just go do it. Ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's not do it to nine, though. I'm, I'm worried about it being too small. 30. Yeah, I'm thinking 30 of them. That's kind of around what I was thinking. That's kind of a number you use for minimum number of samples from something often. Um, I think you would use fake 30 for the debugging. I don't know why. It's just. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, should we should we plot this? Plot or no? Sorry? I have plots in other view areas. I'll zoom in. We have plenty of time. What do you think? Does anyone think it's still gonna have a problem at 28, 29? It's gonna be less plastic, but it will be will be uh, some change. Yeah, it's going to be a slight change. Yeah, But instead of 150 times change from 0.12 to, to 18. But you see, it didn't show any negative value for, it didn't show any negative value at time 0.4. Time 0.4 or? At time 4. Time 4. It was showing negative value before. Oh, he, he, oh. I just, okay. oh my gosh, there's a big hawk that flew down, I think. Oh, yeah. Is it a hawk or is it a booyah? Mm -hmm. Is it a, a crow? Uh, it's over in the distance, it's pretty big. Playing in the snow. Yeah. Um, the snow is supposed to be really bad. You know, but this is the time of year where it might be able to find prey more easily if they haven't changed to their winter coat, their white winter coat. You know, like the, the rabbits change to, to their white in the winter. And if they haven't changed yet and you have snow in the background, then they're easier pickings. So Patty checked in at the hotel, and the, the woman behind the desk said, do you have any winter clothes with you? <laughs> she said, this is all I got. I hope you've got to be walked, careful walking outside. Okay, here's 29. What do you think, Refund? And the number of considering suicide are going upwards because of reduced availability. And, and this X ideators continues to rise because it's out of balance initially. Right? So remember, when something's out of balance originally, often that's manifested with a big trend you see. Either it's going down because it, it, it had an initial value that's not consistent with the actual rates that are applying in the model. Therefore, it's being drained faster then things are coming in, or it's rising. And that doesn't mean the initial value is wrong, but it should make you think about it carefully. You know, is it really that low initially? Why is it so 
inconsistent with what we're positing in terms of the values of the flows. And this is one of the reasons why sometimes you have a burn-in period, you run the model for a while, and you get it to balance so that it's at least consistent with its initial state before you start to undertake an intervention, as has the chin Why do you think that you estimate those values is so drastically different from what's there than state of values? Yeah, why do, why do you think this is so much smaller than what it's going to? Because um, some, some of them reach their stable point. Mm -hmm. Like this battle, one. Right? Yeah, this but one's also interesting because it goes way down and then up. That suggests, you know what this suggests? Why is that? You, exactly. This drops and then goes back up to a level. So this level may not be that inconsistent with these, why does it drop though? It's probably because there are so few X ideators that they weren't flowing into the considering suicide at the level required to maintain this. And so it drops and then it rises until X ideators fills up to sufficient level to have lots of people coming in here. Um, so this, again, the fact that this is dropping so much I mean, it's, it's possible that we're in a period of historical disequilibria, but what's more likely is this is a smaller estimate than actually is the case, or at least it's inconsistent with the estimates for some of these things. So I would do a sensitivity analysis on that, at least. People actually wait a month before moving to planning, mm -hmm. and also there is an average duration for three months. So that's why. Maybe it's, yeah, it could be. It could be that those are factors. That, but I, I just suggest it's telling you something that things aren't quite consistent. What were you saying, Alan? It's not just the stop value. It could be on, you did the calculation. Right. Quite right. Correctly. It could be the flows. The flows are off, or the relative values of the flows, right? It's just off, out of balance. Somewhere. Yeah, it's some, somewhere out of, a bit out of balance here. Anyway, this is looking encouraging. I did sensitivity analysis in the initial IDX percent mm -hmm. and some other variables, so that was one of the variables okay. that gives a lot of tuning. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, well, we advanced it. I think it's time to get that resampling working again by doing the shuffle. Make sure you consult as necessary. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow we have a simulathon, a hackathon. I know Jason, because of his class load, can't make it, but I think the rest of you are. Um, it will be a very good experience. We're going to be meeting at 9 a.m. Um, you'll meet the, the, the sizable team coming up from, um, that's come up from uh, Health Partners. More of them are arriving tonight. Four of them have arrived here already. And uh, uh, they'd like to have a few words about each of your background and name, put name to face. Um, and we will uh, have a set of, of uh, folks I that are informed by uh, what came out of last week's group model building that I helped lead. Okay. Um, if you have some chance, this session did not go fully as late as I thought it might, try to take a look at the information sheet that I posted to that Google Drive so you can read more about this, okay? But we'll meet tomorrow at 9 a.m. and I'll much look forward to, uh, to seeing you there. I will now save this recording.